is from uh, Canada, by the way, Rush. And this is as one of my favorite bands. That's uh, our life evolved, you know, one cell, multicellular, multi organ, um, unicellular, vertebrate and vertebrates. They disappear, they reappear, but I think in the end, as a biologist, we want to know who we are, from where we come and where we go. And look, this is how human colonize the world. This is the root. Human, this is out of Africa. And there are very few birds, very few animals, which are cosmopolitan, spread all over the world. And one of the birds, out of, I think, I think seven birds, uh, successfully colonized the entire world, that's the barn owl. Thus, we find the barn owl in British Columbia, we find it in Jordan River in the Middle East, in Switzerland as well. But what we could show with our studies at the university, this is not out of Africa, this is out of Asia. The, the first one was buckled there, then there, and they colonized the world in a very similar way as human. This, this is the first uh, parallel between the banal and human. In Europe, we had the, during the last ice age, as you went here, by the way, but you will see the symbol. One of it, a thousand years ago, there was the ice coming over the continent in Europe. Most animals and plants disappeared. And the question is how they recolonized Europe, or not the northern parts of Europe. And we studied this with the barn owl, and you see the symbol, the barn owl recolonized from the Middle East, or North Africa, with two roots, like in a ring manner around the Mediterranean Sea. As you see, the Middle East seems to be quite important for the barn owl, at least in Europe. And my small presentation, my title, this is the Barnard Diplomat. Scientific diplomacy, I'm a, I'm a scientist, but this is important in scientific, uh, in diplomatic processes. Quickly, you have three process, diplomatic, uh, scientific diplomacy. Diplomats sometimes need scientists to understand the process. Also, diplomats open doors for scientists to collaborate. And sometimes, like our project, the scientists open doors to the diplomats because sometimes the situation is so complex, it's very difficult by the usual political channel to do something. And the scientists like us with the barn owl, we succeed to bring people together. And now, even in Switzerland, we are very interested in this project from, uh, and as they say, like a diplomatic platform. Science is uh, borderless, like birds, universal. We are interested in science, not in nations or borders. Diplomats, it's a bit the diff difference. We serve a country. Thus, are diplomats and nature conservationists could be bad failures? That's the key question. I think that's because human is destroying nature. We kill people, each other. The world is on fire. We need to find a solution. We need an ambassador. And that's why we came with this symbol of the banal with the olive branch in the talons. And why the barn owl? The barn owl is really fascinating. It's like human. You see, I don't know who is the most beautiful, the lady or the barn owl. I have my idea, I will not tell you. Very similar. But that's not the only reason. The other reason is because it's very scary. This is an ambivalent, you know, this is a paradox. We like it, we hate it, we don't know what to do. But I think it's better to scare a little bit than to look like a muffin. Like, like the chihuahua. <laughs> But, you know, I thought a little bit deeper about this. And maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's better to look like a muffin. Maybe. I will tell you why. Because in the past, we were killing the banals. You heard that in the Middle East, we believe that this is bad luck. We were doing the same in Europe. I don't know here in Vancouver, but in New York, we were nailing the banals against the doors of the churches to ward off evil spirits. That's better to be a shiwawa, at least in the past. <laughs> and to be an ambassador, you need to have a very nice costume. And sometimes several costumes, you know, during the day, at night. And the banners are like the same, right? You see? You, you can have white banners, dark banners. A real ambassador. But I think you need more than the costume, it's not enough. It's easy, you can buy a nice one and that's it. No, no. To be an ambassador, you need to fascinate. And that's the banner. Look at this banal, it is white, this is 
or the one of the only, this is the only predator, which is nocturnal predator, which is white. And look, it evolved all ways to capture the prey, very efficient. And to me, this is like a killing machine. Let's imagine that you are the mice and you have this guy jumping on you. Wow, I love it. Very scary. You have to put the sound quite loud so that we can hear. Very noisy on this pigeon. That's the sonogram. And look at the banner. Listen to the banner. You hear nothing. And the microphones are much better than our own ears. Because this is really a machine to capture the prey. The prey should not hear the banner jumping on them. That's why they are so silent at night. It's amazing. But more than that, you know, you would say, why do you use a killing machine as an ambassador? It's not very good. But look, the banner, this is in French. These are chicks, they are not the parents, and they feed each other. Look, look at the, 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 the chick. Le comportement tout à fait inhabituel dans une famille de rapaces. Le plus âgé offre une proie au dernier. As you saw, they, the, the old chick takes the prey and feeds the youngest one. In most birds, usually that's exactly the opposite. They kill each other. Eagles kill each other. Egrets kill each other. Not the banal. They have all the weapons to kill each other, but they don't do it. They, they cooperate. More than that, they negotiate like ambassadors. They bring one prey every 45 minutes on average. And this is not the cake. They cannot cut the, 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 the mice in pieces. Only one chick will get the prey. And look at this guy. My parents always told me, you have to cut your meat. <laughs> but apparently they need some more education. <laughs> Listen. night each chick produces between 2,000 and 4,000 calls each chick and they don't talk to the parents they talk to each other between siblings and they negotiate who will 